Hello and welcome back to another episode of Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough of that beautiful mod. A time to go into Operation Ghostbreaker where uh, we are fighting a lot of enemies uh, for enemy material and reduction of the strength. We could boost it to fight much less enemies but I like my intel and I do not want that to impact us. Plus we do have five people here. So uh, I beg your pardon, but the Space Wolves are not backing down from a fight. Let's move right into the mission and see how 25 enemies look like. Let's go. All right, 25 enemies we landed, and our only target is neutralize every single one of them. Lucky for us. That we can do that. Okay. Order's confirmed, on the move. Got some hostiles grouped over here. Okay. Oh, okay. First pack. Ten four. Looks like hostiles over here. Uh. Okay. Well, look. I don't want to. Pull two packs. That would not be a good idea. Overwatch. Steady the weapon. That other pack is massive. However, I must say, if there, there was purifier, and if we were to hit that guy. That would be ultra impactful. Will do. Copy that. On the move. Steadying the weapon. Uh, it's definitely dangerous to be upstairs over there. sure what to make out of that if we're going up but might be a death a death sentence if we're not going up it'll be a problem as well Getting weapon. If we could get a nice little strike on that big, fat, juicy pack, that would be awesome. Roger that. I'm on the move. Rolling. Hmm. So the map alert would be a bit of a problem. Yeah, that both of uh, these hack rewards are not really worthwhile. Well. 
not based on the risk involved. Those four are essentially leaving. But I have no idea if the if the other pack is leaving as well. I saw them up here. At least none of the spots are taken. But that doesn't automatically mean that they aren't there. Good to go. If they come back, we could engage. But if they currently stay where they are, it's going to be difficult. Got it. On Overwatch. Got it. On Overwatch. All right, come on. You want to come a little bit closer. Very nice, very nice. We could use a grenade to soften them really up, but I don't think that that's the right play. Let's do this, followed by Overwatch, Affirmative. Covering now. and then our sniper can pick one. Gunner is a good target, sentry I wouldn't pick. Let's take the gunner and take them out. can tell you my dear friend moving to here was not the smartest decision Phantom, so we're not going to stay hidden. That might be on the other side of uh, the rooftop, which is why I would uh, take cover. I know which. Steady weapon again. Could, uh, might as well happen that the other uh, pack that we've seen is just running into us. What? Oh, okay, the Mac. That, that makes sense. But have you seen the amount of enemies? Okay, well, that's a complete cluster F here.
Uh, we need to take that high ground. Being up here is vital. Copy that. Gotta be super careful. These guys are currently here. They potentially, well, they haven't opened this door. So they potentially moved up to here and will come to us sooner or later. Got it. Currently staying down there. might start with taking this side slowly but surely but before we do Roger that. let's get oiler up here a massive amount of enemies on the other side dozens sectors are still down there can't really get up they now moved into that second floor hmm I don't like the rooftop here. I think we need to fall back and try to fight there. What's over there? Heading out. I'm all over it. We can always drop down and when the sectors are doing their little shenanigans Roger that. we would be ready. There are at least two, maybe three sectors left over. Need to reload. Let's steady the weapon. Look at you. Ah, of course. Overwatch, like we typically Overwatch, which is hilariously bad. Good hit. Finish him? Nope. Raising shot, of course. I don't want to be baited. Rolling. It's down. I hope it's worth it. Okay, so I got one. 
Yeah, we're not going to run in yet, but I would love to get that loot. Reload Overwatch, and we're going to get the loot. Pretty sure there is still one more sector, unless I have miscounted. Two Illyrium cores. Okay, that's great loot. Okay, we need to get to, yeah, downstairs, he is still downstairs. We need to get to our fallback location that I marked. Whatever you say. Got it. Closing on target position now. Aye, aye. Good, now we could drop down and essentially take, uh, find him during uh, transit hmm. that's another pack Well, that is interesting. That's a more difficult position to be in one Sidewinder is here than you might think. They are really good at evading overwatches. Problem is, there could be anything down there. Look, this here is, I think, an easy one. Moving up Roger into that. safety. What's over there? Now we don't want to cluster up. Pretty sure they are going to come in and try to over uh, power us. The one sidewinder here would definitely come to the rooftop, yeah. That doesn't trigger any overwatch. That's not a problem, we're, that's why we didn't cluster up. Oh, they are completely immune to overwatch. I see, I see how it is. Good, Advent Trooper. Fabulous. All right, I'll go. Good, which tells me don't try to overwatch uh, these things because uh, they are just going to slither their little way out of it. After their stupid alpha strike, they are in a poor position. Now question mark, where do we want to position the sniper? For now this looks like a decent spot and let's heal the poison. 
Baba needs an overwatch. Frodo overwatches as well. Should we go for that guy? I mean, he's just standing there all alone. But I don't know if there is anyone over there. But I know that we can't just peek in our current position isn't that great. We do have counterattack here on Arclight, so the zombie is not our concern. The rest is pretty much our concern. How many is that now? I need a better position for our sniper. Because there we cannot really use death from above. Here we do have high ground if anyone ever goes into that hall. Roger that. And loaded. Overwatch and Overwatch. Okay, what does the sector do? Moves into the facility no, 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 no. Rave, no. all right but we have seen the facility so i am confident that there is no one in here at the moment carefully move in here and then there should be very much out of line of sight of everything Good. Eat the shotgun, my dude. Eat the shotgun. A protocol just in case. We're overwatching. I don't know if or where enemies are around. This would be risky. This would be risky. Aye, aye. Overwatching. Got it covered. Scanning. Moves up. We might want to push forward to that ledge <laughs> that's the massive pack I was dreading half cover not good oh, what are we going to do with them we need to be calm and collected here and these are normal barrels this here could explode we have a purifier here which in itself is a nice explosive device so might just take the cover away and damage everybody. Now is a good time for a grenade. cover or full cover I think full cover I need a good grenade is 
Sailing back here would be very helpful at the moment. But that is could have, should have, would have. We need half cover because elsewise the aiming angle for the grenade wouldn't work. Sure. Sidewinders. Couldn't ask for better timing. Purifier must die. There you go. Copy that. Full cover. Stun Lancer. Nailed him. So next question is, where could we stand in order to kill? I could get this guy down. Can't move all the way up there, unfortunately. That's one less enemy on the battlefield. Oh, there's a priest. Well, hallelujah. There you go. I like the death from above. Poor question is, can we survive in half cover? Answer, potentially not. So maybe we're just going back to full cover and reducing the number of enemies that can see us. But we do have co good cover. Fortunately, we're impacted by stasis. This might be a double grenade next turn with the explosion together. Could be okay. Okay, not as bad as I thought it would be, but pretty bad. Remove an overwatch. Moves the full cover over here.
That's an explosion and an explosion. Might be enough damage to knock him down. Hmm. The answer is not quite. Okay, we could hit three, that is good. I have to wonder, is there a good way out of the poison? certainly one that can uh, that helps us to flank and it looks as if it is and nah, it's maybe inside of the poison heal the poison That's triple disorienting. Very good. Good. Now, let's try to get this side uh, winder here. Decent hit, but not great. And that could be a kill. He's disoriented the much that he can do. Uh, he decides to lose his uh, sustenance or maybe even completely die just because of that. We're in full cover. Getting a couple of grazing, uh, grazing shots here. Told you, not a clever idea to continue staying there. Hmm. Wait, wait, oh no, you did not. Oh, he fell through the roof. Okay, but that will allow to clean up the sidewinders. By that I mean, what a guy. Why did he... Okay, never mind. It is XCOM. The Y has already been discussed a hundred times. Because it is XCOM. Let's try to get that Sidewinder down. Unsuccessful. I would like to get the other one down though. No problem, boss. That's right. 
Good. Reload, and I don't want to get poisoned, so we're just hunkering down. And that's about it. Wonderful, more poisoning. Okay, we can cure Sam. But first, let's remove that Overwatch. That does not trigger Overwatch. That's the cure. Sam takes care of this guy. Okay, thank you. Sidewinder. Oh, grazing damage, of course. Another grazing damage. Alright, sucks to potentially lose loot, but... The world is burning around us. Who cares about loot at the moment? Multiple hostiles eliminated. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. We fell through the rooftop and that was the only real damage that we took. Well, of course, we took a couple of grazing shots here and there. Can't believe it. Could have gotten one more loot at the end with the run and gun activity. And 13 days? Arclight is off for 13 days. Oh man. Good. Formidable is good. Aggression is good. Um, that's crit chance up to 30%. I mean, we're we're very dependent on crits. That one here. I like untouchable. I wonder if we should solely go for untouchable and then in that case go for aggression. Just trying to always crit. But we do have executioner which answers that question and says no you don't need to because executioner will have enough crit chance for you. Specifically with rapid fire. So you get formidable my boy. Good. More grenades. Arclight is surprisingly highly leveled uh, already. And I think we're going to go cyclic fire. Three shots at a single target. Two turn cooldown. Uses a lot of ammunition. That's okay. For big targets, that's exactly what we want to do. Precise shot is good. But dead eye would be better for damage. So let's use Lone Wolf.
so that the dead eye is hitting. Oh, we even got the corpses. My bad. Shouldn't have exploded them then. Well, that was stupid. Oh, we shouldn't have exploded them. Great. So that reduced the troop strength. We are down to strength 7 instead of strength 8. Thumbs up. Um, that is already infiltrated. 7 hours, not gonna happen. That's not going to happen either. Ultramarines are there. I think the next one was the VIP. Setting course for Sector 5, India. Commander, you should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Space Wolves are ready with the exception of their gunner. Which means... And their gunner, by the way, is now the highest level soldier that we have. Unbelievable. I don't know what he did, but he even bypassed the prime team. Respect. Got a Shinobi instead. Could work with that. And sure, why not? A little bit more melee damage, but let me let me set that up. Okay, so that would be another scientist, and if we infiltrate uh, well enough, then that would be a very light no problemo from my end. We have a couple of weapon upgrades. Um, I think we were fine with the ammunition. Did anyone run out of ammo continuously? Maybe Euler, but already got an advanced upgrade. Okay, well, Space Wolves, there you go. Just successfully did the mission. So, what else do we want to do? Let's heal up, I would say. Because we have now two patients that could benefit from healing. And look at that. We've got training completed. So, what are we going to do with you? Trial by fire, any soldier below the rank of sergeant will automatically be promoted um, when working with him together. That is really good. Jammer isn't bad either, um, just to deal with reinforcements. But I think trial by fire overall is the better choice. Ataxia, same thing. Okay, let's check. So they are. No new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out we did have, have no further recruits here. No one available. Yeah, it is what it is. At least the Shinobis are training, their officer training. And just wait a second. We did have a new Shinobi trained, right? Yes. Snake Pliskit. Congratulations, my man. You're now officially a Shinobi. Very 
Pretty good. Okay, so. Let's continue to heal and hope that Sane finally. We have a positive confirmation on an emergency oh, wow. signal coming from the site of our most recent covert action. Our team was ambushed and needs an evac. Firebrand is already en route. Your attempts at subterfuge have failed, and this defeat will be a costly one. Good. This defeat uh, we are going to see the next time. Enough for today. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. If you enjoyed what you've seen, feel free to leave a like and a comment down below and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.